Today we are learning a very interesting topic called erosion. Look at what an erosion picture looks like. It causes the surface of the earth to be broken off. So we are learning one, two, three, four. We are learning four things today. And the first one is how to define erosion. We are learning to mention types of erosion. We are learning the causes of erosion. And we are learning control of erosion. Now, what is erosion? Just like this picture we can see here. Let's go and see a definition of what erosion looks like. But before that, can you try to explain erosion from this picture? Take a look at the picture very well. Okay, so erosion is the washing away or removal of the top layer of the soil on the surface of the earth by the action of water and wind. By the action of what? Water and wind. Just like we can see in the picture in this image. Now, look at this picture that just popped out. Can you see that erosion has caused it to separate from the main body? This is exactly what happens when erosion keeps going on without anyone controlling it. It makes everyone look ugly. Do you know that man has been the major contributor to the actions that led to erosion due to his influence on the physical environment? Yes, you and I. We have been the major cause of all the erosion happening. How? You might be asking. Well, man's search for food have caused erosion. Whether we go grazing on land and we are leaving it bare. Another way is economic development. We go around developing places and we are not looking out for how to control erosion. Just like these people, they are constructing roads, but they might end up not putting any drainage and it causes erosion. Okay, now let's look at the types of erosion. Number one, we have the real erosion. Number two, we have splash erosion. Number three, we have gully erosion. Number four, we have sheet erosion. Now let's talk about real erosion. Real erosion occurs when water flows or runs off with full force on a piece of land. It occurs when the water forms small channels in the soil as it flows off site. This is what it looks like. It makes everywhere to be broken and cracked up. And this removes the soil by concentrated water flow. Now let's look at splash erosion. Splash erosion happens when raindrops hit the best soil surface and this breaks up the soil. This is exactly what splash erosion looks like. And we have gully erosion. Just like the name, gully. It occurs when a particular channel is severely worn out than the area surrounding it. So it causes a gully. Okay? So this occurs when running water erodes soil to form channels deeper than 30 centimeters. This is exactly what gully erosion looks like. Now let's talk about sheet erosion. Sheet erosion occurs when the fairly uniform surface of a large surface area of land starts wearing out. How do we mean? Huh? Look at this picture. When the rain keeps falling, so some part of it, okay, is no longer flat. Some part is going down due to rain, wind, and other troubles happening. Now let's look at the causes of erosion. Causes of erosion. We have the first one, which is water. The second one is wind, and the third one is human activities, just like we talked about earlier. Now, water, when it rains, it causes a lot of erosion if there is no good drainage, just like this road is now spoiled due to water, there is no good drainage. And the second one is wind, so whenever strong winds are blowing, what happens, it carries away loose particles of the topsoil, and it keeps washing away those topsoil consistently over a long time it causes what erosion then we have human activities we have human activities that causes erosion now let's look at the first one 
clearing and burning of bush and forest. When we burn bushes every time, it causes erosion because there is nothing to hold back the wind, there is nothing to hold back the rain from hitting the soil directly. Another reason is what overgrazing by animals on farm land. When we carry our animals to go and eat grass, we don't allow this grass to grow again and we keep bringing our animals. Before you know it, there will be no grasses to stop the rain from hitting the soil directly. We have road construction, just like we talked about it earlier. Without proper drainage, it causes erosion. And we have littering of waste. Instead of us to drop or dispose our waste in the right place, we just litter it around. We are traveling, we are throwing our waste. We are going anywhere, we are throwing our waste. is not good because it's causing what? Erosion. Now, let's see. How can we control erosion? The problem now, we've talked about it, littering of waste, burning of bush, growth constructions, and a lot of other causes. Now, what is the solution to this problem? We are going to look at the solution. But you can see a little girl holding a plant. Now, let's see control of erosion. Afforestation. This means that we should plant trees, not just any how trees, but trees that have wide roots just like this so that we help to hold the soil and reduce erosion another way we can control erosion is by construction of proper drainage so whenever we build our houses we should build proper drainage so that water will flow to the right channel and not cause erosion another one is avoidance of overgrazing we should not allow our animals to just keep grazing on one spot we should be taking it to different locations so that it won't cause erosion and the last one here is what windbreakers when we plant trees like this it helps to what reduce the wind that way wind can't cause erosion where we plant lots and lots of trees okay hope you are following now it's question time can you remember what we have learned? Can you define erosion? Yes, I want you to try. Beautiful. Erosion is the washing away of the top layer of the soil. One of the causes of erosion is what? I'm listening to you. Okay, beautiful. Is bush burning. Another cause is what? Human activities. Another cause is water, wind. Now, how can we control erosion? Lovely! By planting trees with wide roots, by disposing our waste in the right way, by constructing drainage system. And that brings us to the end of our class. See you in the next class.